Good morning, everybody, and welcome, welcome. Thank you for joining us. Morning, Paul, Uncle John, Owen, and everybody there on stream, Scotsman, Andre, and Mr. Jones. Good morning. Hello. Good morning, gentlemen. Uh, my spelling. Oh, by the way, my keyboard actually now died. It's given up the ghost. Oh, wow. Well. Yeah. It was terminal. Yeah, so um, I, I've plugged in a spare, which is highly awkward because it is like 20 or 30 years old. It's one of these Microsoft ergonomic keyboards. I used to love it back in the day, you know, it had the, the nice form, you know, so you could type nicely but I, i'm not used to it anyway so in it's it's like twice the physical size you know in the old days they made everything bigger and better and to last forever you know and this freaking awesome keyboard of mine that died makes it really painful but hence anyway why you're working sorry uncle john hence why it's still working exactly and the, and the, yeah. and the one is packed up exactly exactly so We'll have to find out if we can do a warranty claim on the other one, you know, get it replaced or have to buy a new one now because it's going to be very awkward using this one. But anyway, n enough of that. Um, guys waiting in line to get into Discord, I've just allowed you guys in, so welcome. Um, all right, so we're going to fly from Dubai to Muscat. And um, it's funny, the guys who live in that area, like Martin, I don't see them here. Martin, if you are around, just raise your hand. Let's see if you are here. Um, I was thinking maybe it would be a good idea to do a flight for these guys. So, well, anyway, maybe you'll join later. Okay. Uncle John says he's ready and ready to go. Okay. Um, Owen is probably not far behind. He's muted himself, so I can't talk to him now. But... I've discovered a little thing that uh, Uncle John showed us here. We've got a bit of an anomaly, so I just want to point that out um, so we can point Zebo to have a look here. Um, I'm not going to do anything. Uh, there's obviously it's a it's a conditional waypoint situation, and these things have been giving us a little bit of trouble. So I'm just going to leave it as is and then step through. I think the rest should be fine. Um, I'm going to leave it, let it fly, you know, the way it wants to fly, and you know then but we'll have a lot of information to work with yeah and mr jones on your question i honestly cannot remember i use go to arc and bi those are the three favorites it can be any one of them i i can, cannot recall i'll have to check uh, on that question of yours right let's see if we can see the other guys if people have started appearing there we go so the guys are watching um we're going to have a bit of an interesting, fun flight this afternoon, if you, you're about. It'll be worth watching. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we're going to fly from Cononias back to Rio, um, Santos de Mont. And uh, it's, 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 it's bound to create more fun than yesterday, I think, trying to land there. Um, but anyway, okay, so we've got a couple of ticks here already. Thank you guys for joining and flying with. If any of you other guys want to fly with, please feel free. There's no invitation really. You just, you know, show up. You know, the invitation is open-ended. Okay, so let's get proper set up and get going. And nobody's seen any ATC arrive yet, eh? Negative, sir. Oh, talking about that, mm. starting up this morning, Selected a key for press to talk and it worked. Okay, wonderful. But my uh, other piece of software it still isn't connected. You know, I might need you to have a quick look at that at some stage. Okay. That's fine, that's fine. Oh, and before I forget, Paul and Mac, if you are lurking in the background, I did the test that you guys wanted me to do at EGNX. Okay, I have it on video. I'll upload it afterwards, you know, so Zebo can have a look at that. Excellent. Yeah, pleasure. Hello, guys. Hello. Good morning. Hello. Six. Cost index twenty. Uh, 
303. Okay, so anybody that hails from this area in the real world. Okay, I obviously assume that Active Sky is giving a correct presentation. Is it really this misty in Dubai, in the desert? Can it really get like this or is this an anomaly in the display in the sim? Good question. What's the dew point at the moment, Nico? Ah, I didn't look. Let's have a look, see. The temperature is 25 and the dew point is 25. Aha. Uh -huh. Hmm. I know that the guys um, actually seed the clouds to get rain there nowadays, you know, so I don't know if this is part of the anomalies that they get, you know, part of the effort, but anyway. Hello, Tommy, morning. I, hmm? I can't remember who it was. I think it was one of the real pilots that said, when the dew point's close to the real temperature, beware of mist and fog. Yeah, but we like 10 degrees out. That's not really close. Oh, I thought you said they were the same. Sorry. Oh, no, 35 and 25. Oh, right. Well, that's not right then. I wouldn't have said. Yeah. That's why I'm asking, because it's mm. a curiosity for me now. The only real shame is there's some beautiful scenery there, and the, the guys can't see it. Oh, see it. this is very low level, Uncle John. The moment we take off, we should actually break through it. it, it when I panned out earlier, let's do it again. Look, let's get an angle going. It's like low level. Look, the moment you go higher, it's gone. It's literally like it's just hanging, you know, knee high. Then all of a sudden you get it again. Weird. Uh, guys, any specific time for departure or whenever you're ready, just go? Whenever you're ready and we have a three minute separation between us. That's the only rules. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. <clears throat> you're welcome. I lost my voice there. Trim up. Okay, uh, I'm going to start my APU, so I'll be pushing back in about five to six minutes. Morning, William. Right, feels safe. Uh, runway heading and altitude. Twenty-seven to ninety-nine. That's fine. Oh, you can actually do that now as well. We're back, Nico. Yep, and we're live, eh? I was halfway. I was halfway uh, with the upload and. Uh, Google came with the information that I needed uh, more space. Oh. So I need to pay now. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, just clean out your um, yeah, 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 I know. recycle bin. Yeah, I know. Bill or DME? 
I'm just oh, sitting in the Sweet, Oh, 1145. Oh, Alright, okay, now AU. We are at gate of uh, 8. Going to take off a runway three zero left. Alright, that's that one. Taxiways will be what's that? Kilo. Kilo sixteen. Right, let's check everything. Uh, B4 start procedure. Walk around completed. Thank you, Linda. Before start procedure. Right, who's ready? Who's not? Are we going? I'm already taxiing. Thank you so much. Four start procedure completed. Start number two engine. Starting number two engine. Okay, I'll start APU now. Yeah, it's interesting. And Steve, um, I did a, a debug refresh of the um, and two. weather already, and it just comes back. So, well, whatever. We, we're just gonna live with it for a, a moment or two. Starter cut out. Start number one engine. Starting number one engine. Anthony's here. Twenty-five and two. Okay, nope. Starter cut out. Engine start procedure completed. I agree, Steve. Thirty five degrees with fog just doesn't sit right with me but we like you said we're just gonna take it for the ambience we'll fly out of it just now flaps five set
Pushing back. I'll make way for you, where you go. Dangy. Taxi lights on. Yeah, um, Andre, that could be it. It could be smog, but uh, I, I, I mean, there is. No reference to mist in uh, or fog as such in in the meter, so it could be smog. Yeah, it could be. It could even be a dust storm, you know, that's being depicted as haziness. Yeah, who knows? I just had to see which way you're turning. I'm gonna take the. Uh, yeah, key. it's pushing. It's pushing back right. Uh, cool. Round uh, the corner. Excellent. I'm taking key load in as as intended. So yeah, that's fine. of course. Before takeoff procedure. Before takeoff procedure.
before takeoff procedure completed. Kilo fifteen, kilo sixteen. Next one. Ah, oh, now you want me to contact the tower. That's not fair. Ah. Uh -uh. But anyway, we'll do it. We shall do it. Uh, let's quickly do that. Tower, good morning. Skymatic 001, ready for departure, runway 30 left. Skymatic uh, for uh, 001, uh, to my tower, hello, ready for copy clearance. Ah, you can uh, give clearance, yes. Goodbye, uh, Tower. Good morning, uh, Kermatic 74. Um, holding short, uh, runway, uh, left. Kermatic 47, Goodbye, Tower. Uh, hello, standby. Kermatic 47, Hey, Martin. Come out four seven tower radio check. Uh, Andre, um, to fly an arc, the AF leg is doable. Um, Zebo did fix it up a little bit in the week. Just go try it; it should work. Skymatic four seven requesting clearance as filed. Currently at holding point uh, Kilo one five uh, number two for departure. Skymatic 47, goodbye tower, uh, hello, standby. Skymatic 47, say again, very hard of hearing. Skymatic 47, goodbye tower, hello, standby. He says we must stand by. Skymatic 47, standing by. If I don't get my clearance in 30 seconds, I'm disconnecting and going. There was no ATC and then just... Hold on. Squawk 3321, initial altitude 3000 off a 30 left, and we'll use the Unvex 7 Foxtrot departure Skymatic 001. Skymatic 001, read correct line of the way down Thank you, lining up and waiting 03 left. Okay, we'll get into position and then we will set that squawk code. Skymatic 47, sir, please understand I'm very hard of hearing, so you need to be very clear on what you say. Skymatic 47, sir. Good morning, Dubai Tower. This is Kometic 035. On holding point, runway 30 right. Kometic 035. 
Standing by, schematic 005. Right, schematic 001, we intend to take the degrees for cross over the traditional left three for takeoff three for airborne. Thank you, sir. Cleared for takeoff. We'll report airborne schematic 001. Airborne schematic 001, tower. Schematic 47, Zero uh, Terror Destination Spy via Anvix 7 Fox Drop, Spice Trail Main 3 Zero Left, Second Climb 1000 Kit, Scroke 2 to Ground 2. Schematic 47, very hard bearing, understanding you said Scroke 2000, uh, I believe the initial altitude is 3000. Ask him to text you, Uncle John. Approaching Schematic uh, 37, kilo zero destination 5, and three Gear up. Fox, so the is 309, squawk 212. Squawk 212. Skyman could you text me, please, sir? Right, come on, guys. On we going. Runway turn off, lights off. Happy second, Tomatic uh, for seven. I'm very hard of hearing, Skymatic for seven. Could you text me, please? Roger. Okay, guys, I'm doing this on purpose. I want to see what the Zebo does here. Um, obviously, for repairs later. So just bear with me if things look a bit cockeyed and weird. Probably have to fix it at some stage, right? So, let's fix it that way. Right, turn back, do its thing. Right, okay. Laps one set. Schematic zero zero one airborne. Schematic zero zero one, you come to the front goodbye. Thank you, bye bye. Flaps up. And there we go, we want to do this some light. And there that smog is gone. Right guys, so if you guys are following the standard departure, uh, please make sure you have the direct to dialed in and you can execute it when you're ready because it seems the Zebo mod does turn out to the right which is wrong. So just have it in standby and execute it. Exactly Steve.
Yeah, yeah, you can you can see there's something there definitely. It's a bit of smog or something there. Yeah. Okay, excellent. Thank you, Mr. Jones. Good feedback. Transition altitude. Then I'm happy, guys. If that's the real feedback, Andre and Mr. Jones, I'm really happy that you know, can't ask for more. Scotsman, the way it works is you switch them on, they will then heat the windows. Once they have reached the optimal heat, uh, the lights will actually switch off. Once those lights switched off, then you can do the actual testing. All right. And um, I can't remember the exact number, but I think it's like a 37 or 35 or something second test that runs which uh, then obviously once that is done you can then reset all of them and switch them on again um, something like that uh, so yeah just switch them on let them run once those lights go off do your test once that's done you can reset them Steve, I did not. Let me go quickly have a look. Where in, in what side? In the preview. Preview. Let's see. Preview. I don't have a preview. I'm looking at the server now. I've got updates. Maybe it's that. Yeah, let's have a look. Yeah, that sunrise looks interesting.
but there's still no word on when the update is available, eh? Or do you, did you see it somewhere there? I didn't. Welcome, Scotsman. Um, Andre, no, no, we've seen it a, a lot of times, especially in testing. Um, the Zebo mod obviously got a complete revamp on the LNAV code. And sometimes in some of these updates it works, sometimes it does not. So we just keep track of it. In this case, it honestly did not work. So um, it seems to be a revolving around the conditional waypoints uh, you get anomalies in the sits and the stars at this point in time so we just have to keep Zebo informed Yeah, it's a pity because um, you know, he's been talking since the 1st of October about this update that he's testing. Um, I suppose we must just be a bit more patient. As far as I know, it should make at least a click noise because it's a switch, but we'll have to check. It was hard work. Yeah, I know it was. So I guess you're in the air and you're on your way? Affirmative, sir. At long last. Yeah. Yeah, I see you on the map. Confirm your cruise altitude, Nika. Good, John. I think it's two seven. Yeah, two seven zero. Thank you, Connor. Okay, Andre. Good luck with the load shedding. We'll talk later again. <laughs> nice.
Right, 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 right. So that is done. Oh, my soul. oh goodness, they're killing my son in the game. Whoa. I have not used freeware musket airport, but it looks pretty nice. Um, yeah, yeah, no, the one I linked in the notes below the video is a pretty nice one. Um, there has been a few attempts to make it work, and this one seems to actually have done it, you know, so I'm happy with it. Two Two fifty five and takes care of that. Okay, you guys run quickly if you need to. There we go, one oh eight nine. Done. Hey Martin. So hard, yeah. We're coming up to your home now, eh? Well, excellent. I'm waving, eh? Tommy, um, in the NVIDIA inspector, I just go and I go to the frame rate limiter there and I just put in, um, I actually think I've got it on 32, um, not just 30, it's 32. So, and, and then basically you, you have to do it in the Xplane 11 profile. So every time Xplane EXE runs, it will just lock the frame rates for you. That one there. Or that one there. First or second one, Martin. Oh, and we started our descent already. Wow. Just a hop, skip, and a jump, eh? Okay. I see you are a good pilot. Ah, oh, thank you, Linda. Flattery will get you anyway, everywhere. Oh, there's only four of us. I thought there was five.
Uh, we were five. I, I'm not sure who fell out along the way. Hello, Giovanni. Skymatic 008 fell, fell off. Oh, okay. That's Anthony as far as I know, is it not? Yeah, I thought so. Yeah, I thought so, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he was sending me pictures um, privately in, in Discord. He had overlay issues here in the FMC. Which I didn't have. Um, I didn't even have the waypoint he had. So I just we, we discussed that a little bit, and um, now that you mention it, I see he's not here. You can't be far from top of yourself, Peter. Oh no, I'm halfway down already. Interesting landscape. This is a very lazy continuous descent path. Eh? I mean, this is there's no rush, it seems. Okay, Scotsman, enjoy. Yeah, you must also enjoy your flight, man, and the landing and all. Transition level.
Uncle John, the also has really came out very well in this area. It's really looking good. Yeah, I was pleased with those. Yeah. to level off. I know, good morning. This is interesting. This airport is not on Navigraph. I wonder if it's a military thing or something. I don't see any identification for this one. Very interesting.
Okay, gents, give me 30 seconds. I need to quickly go downstairs. The earth is so beautiful. Oh, that was terrible timing, but I'm back. Martin, I don't know. It depends on the weather. We'll have to see closer to the time. I'll put it in my roster once I figure it out, just like I did, you know, this morning. So, we'll have to have a look. I have to keep an eye on you, Nick, because, mind you, you're well in front. Yeah. Got a slightly different approach to you. No problem. Um, I've also uh, done obviously the unspeakable of leaving the cockpit at this crucial stage. My my brother forgot his driver's license in his um, pickup, and he had to come and fetch it before he could drive again. So that's what happened. Anyway, um, I'm busy preparing to land now. I'm what does it say? 16 point something nautical miles from the threshold there. Okay, well, I've got 30 miles behind you, good 30. Yeah, that's fine. I see this aircraft um, ended up over speeding a little bit, so. Um, Martin. Um, you could do your own planning, by the way. The the plan is in my flight roster here in Discord. So we're going to fly from um, Sao Paulo back to Rio. And uh, the, the details is, is there already. You just have to find out your own departure and arrival according to the weather. Eh? And that appears to be the runway there, right in front of us. Localizer capture. And there I go and do exactly what I should not have done. Uh, uh, you see, a little bit of lack of concentration and everything goes for a ball of spit. So, 
let's fix it. 84. Eighty four approach. There we go. It's still turning away. Why? Thousand to level off. What's it doing that? Come on. Zero zero eighty four is correct. One oh eight nine, one oh eight nine, one oh eight nine. Now it's turning back. Flaps fifteen set. Yeah. Uncle John? Yes, sir. And anybody else for that matter. Guys, please make sure that your course headings are set correctly for this um, approach. Uh, my course heading was wrong, so the aircraft immediately banked out to the right. It just turned, okay, which means I'm going to have to take over pretty soon and, and manually land because I'm totally skewed. So what I'm asking is please make sure that all your settings are correct and that uh, we can actually determine whether the ILS work or not because at this point in time it, it's behaving terribly. Yeah, I've, I've got 084. Repeat, 084. Correct, yes. The Zippo seems to be trying to compensate now, but um, I'll have to fly it again to make sure, unless you guys can just give me your reports, you know, because where is this ATC guy now? I don't see any ATC here yet for Muscat. Um, and if he does that, I will gently disconnect and ignore him, I promise you that. I have a very great dislike for ATC in a tower giving me a squawk code when I'm on final approach. Okay, my, my ILS is back on track, Uncle John. Why are you thinking that they're coming on? There's nobody there. No, Mr. Jones said. Mr. Jones, you're on the stream, said. But I don't see anybody. Like you, I shall just disconnect. Yeah, I know. Approaching zero eight. Right, my ILS actually sorted itself out, so it was entirely my own problem I created for myself by not having the correct um, approach course set. I mean, I'm, I'm only 22 miles out and I'm straight in. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Mario. Hello, Anthony. Oh yes, yeah, I, I know, I know. And that's why I've got such a dislike for these things because it's like this tower this morning as well. You know, you met him, but it's it's uncomfortable. You know, you want to go, and then you have to go through all the rigmaroles. You know, which is so unnecessary. But anyway, yeah. really right, landing. I have landed, Uncle John. I will get off the runway <laughs> at my earliest convenience. I'm already established. Well, good. Right, I'm leaving the runway in 10 seconds. 5,000 feet remaining. After landing procedure. After landing procedure. Thank you. 
Yeah, I think I think so. I think so. My my mistake was I didn't have the correct approach course, and then this aircraft just turns out. Thank you, Steve. Right, so landing procedure completed. Let me get my chart so I can see where I'm taxiing or not. Flaps up and set. So it's 80, uh, ah, what am I talking about? It's 38 degrees Celsius here on the ground, Uncle John. Wow. You might want to bring one of those bottle water, uh, water bottles with you, you know, to carry with you when you get off here. Thank you. But guys, look at the scenery, man. I mean, this is really nice. This is probably the best model I've seen of this aircraft. Ah, aircraft. What am I talking? Airport. Um, in a long, long time. Really nice. I can see your lights. Excellent. Shut down procedure. Shut down procedure. Shut down procedure completed. Thank you, Linda. All eyes on you, Uncle John. Thank you, sir. Thanks, Owen. Yeah, I hope it works. Oh, there you are at the top as well. There's Owen. Can you see me already? Yes, I can see your tag. I'm still at Boo Bill. Nine thousand, passing eight thousand five hundred. Yeah. Well, that's a steep descent, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's why I was paid because I wasn't here to pay attention to it. Welcome, Uncle John. Thank you, Carlo.
Look at the scenery. Isn't it pretty? It's really nice. And it's free. I hope I downloaded it then. <laughs> uh, all the links below the video. Um, oh yeah, but I had to do it before, of course. Yes, of course. I uh, will see. Thank you, Tommy. I oh, know I'm impressed with the scenery. Yeah, it's nice to see uh, all those mountains there. Huh? Yeah, it's nice, really nice. It's all same color, huh? Yeah, yeah. The the autos here seem to be a little bit better quality than in some other areas, you know. So this is a bit off color, but but you know, is what it is. It's better than the default. Uh huh. Uh, Eugene, um, awesome. Thank you so much for watching.
guys after number 74 there we've still got Anthony that needs to come in so I'm just gonna wait for all of them to land and then I have a request somebody has asked me to show on stream here how to set up the altitude client with a push to talk button so for those of you that are interested in sticking around give us another five or so minutes then I'll show you um, but guys I mean for all practical intents and purposes the stream is over so if you want to leave you are more than welcome and I thank you for your support and watching. Uh, I just want to end off with that little tutorial thing here at the end. I thought there was a total of five of us to come in again. Yeah, I don't know, Uncle John. I didn't write down the names of everybody that was supposed to be here. One, two, three, four. There's five, Uncle John. Okay. There's only two of us in at the moment, isn't there? Yeah, well, Owen has yeah, just landed. Then we've got 74 and 8. That still needs to come in. Okay. Don't forget to log your files, gents. Yeah, mine's in the VA logged. Sign sealed delivered. Pleasure, Paul. Um yeah, Mr. Jones, you'll have to check it. I honestly can't remember. Um I can always check it later and you know, then we can chat about it next time. Who is Dick seventy four? It's me. Okay, got it, got it. Seventy four is next game. Runway vacated. Thank you, sir. It's a bit breezy here, a lot of wind. Well, Uncle John, if it wasn't for that wind, the people would probably fry because the 38 would probably be 48. Absolutely. I've, I've already drunk two litres of water. Wow. Well, it's been nice having some company this morning, Nico. Mm. I hope we have a dozen this afternoon. Mm hmm. Yeah, I don't know how many guys are up to the challenge, Uncle John. That's. You know, to, to land there might not be as big a challenge as taking off from that airfield, but it's still going to be a, a problem for some guys will end up in the drink. 
I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, you, you fascinate me. I haven't heard you this excited about a flight in a while. Eh? <laughs> you, <laughs> you're really excited about this one. Absolutely. I enjoyed taking off from there. Oh, my goodness, yeah. That was crazy. I've got a good mind. Next time I'm taking off from that airport to go flaps 15, I'm telling you. I only went flaps 10, I think. Yeah, me too. Me too. And I put full power on before I let go of the brakes as well. Yeah, I had about 90% and then I let go of the brakes. Eh? I'll have to wait this time a little bit longer. I think I also need to make myself a little bit <coughs> lighter in weight. Yeah, yeah, gonna have to do that. So you had 139 packs or something, and I had 153. And I tell you what, I was, I was well, nervous. I'm not going in there with 139. I tell you now, <laughs> 80 maximum. Yeah, I'm sure that airport is actually meant for the 737 700 or smaller, right? Eh? This is a really lazy, lazy approach, this is. Yeah. Feels like you're never going to get there. So slow, continuous yeah, descent. Long, huh? yeah. yeah. Sorry, man. I'm still learning. <laughs> no, no. I apologize. Yeah. You're doing good. Yeah. I don't want to put any pressure on, but I've got the uh, notepad out and pen at hand. <laughs> so you're going to score him, Uncle John? Absolutely. Okay. There you yeah. go. Um, nice. Nice one. 8.6, sir. Well done. Good shot. Good shot. Thank you. <laughs> Come, Anthony. Circle Bicky. Why? You okay? Will you make it? I had to run outside to go do something, and then obviously I didn't program my descents. That's why I went into a hold. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, so while we're waiting for you, let me quickly talk about this joy ticky thing then. Okay, so basically... Let me, let me pick up on you, Nico, unless you're going to scream on it, scream on here as well. I'm going to stream right here on the stream. I'm going to show you guys right here. Okay, so this is altitude. This is the Iveo client. They did just uh, make everything. Uh, please, can I have a second? Just I need to park up under one. Uh, okay, all right, option. cool, cool. I will wait for you. Hold on, I need to go on your stream, Nico. Yes, please. Why do you have a different name when you PM me? Then I thought the picture looked the same, but I wasn't sure. It's interesting. I don't have the actual uh, livery for. Uh, Schematics. No, yeah, delivery is not a problem. Don't worry about that. Um, but your name, when I look at the private chat, it's got a different name. So obviously you changed your nickname in the server, but the picture is the same. So anyway, okay, now I put two and two together. I understand now. Right, yeah, you're right. Um, on the Discord, I have my actual name. 
and I'm using uh, the uh, uh, nickname for Discord. Okay. Cool. Gonna, I'm just gonna park somewhere anywhere, so I don't waste your time. Yeah, no worries. Oh, I've got time. Don't worry. Right, I'm with you now. All right, Uncle John, are you with me? Can we do this? Yes, I'm all set up, waiting. All right, okay, so this is obviously now altitude. And if we go into the settings, we need to set a push to talk key. So what I do is I use my right hand control key. All right. So it's set, then I apply it. So now whether I, if I press the control key, you see that it's transmitting the right hand control key. Okay, that's step one. Step two, because altitude cannot recognize a joystick key that's pressed, you need joy to key this little program. It's free. Just Google it, download it. Then what you need to do is you need to find, you see, I've got three joysticks on my system. It's picked up on them. So what you need to do is you need to press the button that you want to use for push to talk. And as you can see can on you joystick... press that button, Nico? We can't hear you. Uh, yeah, it's just... Um, what happens is I mute out the Discord. The guys on stream can still hear me. Okay, so... So, okay, let me not press it. I'm going to press it without talking. Right, so you all see this button one was highlighted, okay? Then what I do, because... I press the button on the joystick, it then identifies button 1. Then you have to double click it, and then in that section right at the top, you go and press your right hand control button so that the program picks up that's the button that needs to be associated with button number 1 right there. And that's all you do. So every time I click the button, you see it now translates into PTT. That's all it is. Do you understand? Yeah, that's lovely. Thank you very much. All right, cool. Yeah, and then obviously this program needs to be open the whole time. It needs to be um, you know, running in the background because the moment you close it, uh, the joystick functionality goes away and then you are stuck just with the keyboard. That's all it is. And for the guys on using Discord, mm -hmm. you could describe how to set up the push to mute. Let's see if I can. <laughs> I know I did uh, it. It's functioning. Let's, uh, let's quickly find it. Oh, yeah, here we go. Thank you kindly, Nico. Thank you very much. No problem. So in Discord, what we do, or what I did, and what Paul is referring to, is if you go to your settings and then key binds, you see there push to mute is the action, and right control is the key bind. So every time I speak to ATC while I am connected on um, Discord, they can't hear me speak to ATC. You know, when we do a group flight, you don't want to hear the guys talking continuously to ATC and stuff. So this is just a, a, a quick trick we figured out at some point in time that then at least I don't interfere with their chatter and, and so on. You know, so push to mute, right control. And that right control is your PTT button. So what happens, I'll show you. Let me just change that quickly. Oh, I closed that joy to key. Let me just get it open again quickly. Hold on, I'll show you exactly what it does. So you see, I'm pressing the button, it's highlighting, and then you will see, uh, let me just, how 
can I do this so that you guys can see it? There. All right. So the moment that button one, the PTD button is pressed, you see it mutes me on Discord. The guys on Discord can't hear me. It's only the guys on stream that can hear me. And when I release it, now it's open again and everybody can hear me. It's easy as that. Thanks, Nico. You're welcome, Paul. Okay, Anthony, all eyes on you, sir. Beautiful, huh? Good landing, Anthony. And welcome. Thank you. So there we have it. A wonderful flight, little tutorial in between, wonderful scenery. I'm really impressed with this. Guys, if you ever want to fly in here, go follow that link below my video um, in Show More. You know, just click Show More and you'll find it. It's really, really good piece of scenery, this. So, Linda. Thank you for your service. I'm going to say goodbye now. You guys go enjoy yourself. We'll check you guys later in a few hours again. Yeah, see you later, Nico. Thanks. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, Nico. Thank you very much for the help. You're welcome.